welcome to Real Estate Heat TV, the hottest new real estate channel. I yes. am your host today, real estate coach and mentor, Anthony Leggins, and we got my man, real estate coach and mentor, Armand Wright. What's up, what's up? Sir, Let's yes, make it sir. do what it do. Yeah, we excited, man. We Man, we was talking, man, before we started turning on, uh, doing the show today, and I'm telling you, man, we geek, man. We hype, man. Yes, you know, we, yes, we excited yes. to bring this heat to you, man, because today our mind came up, man. He he, he got something hot to drop for us today, you know, and I'm going to chip in and I'm going to speak, you know, my mind on some things. But uh, we were saying, you know, we definitely want to give a shout out to you, our listeners and our viewers. Yes. Uh, greatly appreciate your support. And, you know, we give a shout out to everybody out here that's doing their thing in the real estate game right now. You know, yes. whether you succeed or having some challenges, you know, if you are having some challenges, you want to watch today's program because we're going to share some information with you that's going to be quite beneficial with you. So, what you know, what, what are we going to talk about today, Brother Armand? Man, we're going to talk about mindset, man. You know, in a lot of different programs, uh, a lot of people start off with mindset and you might see that common thing. A lot of people are probably just blowing that off. But man, it's, it's critical, man. If you're going to do anything, you got to have your mind right. As we say, you have your mind right to get your money right. So yes. we talk about mindset, getting your yes. mind right. So say, say, for example, you start your day in the morning and you listen to um, whatever music you listen to, say you listen to some hip hop music or whatever, getting you getting you in a, in a really, really good mood. Then all of a sudden you got your day all planned out. You know, you're going to do, you know, you're going to make some phone calls. I'm just speaking from a real estate investor perspective. You're going to make some phone calls. I'm going to call this many people. I'm going to follow up on this many people. I got my music going to get me in a good mood. Right. So I'm I'm headed down the right path. Right. I got my mind right. I got the music going. I'm headed down the right path. Then all of a sudden. Say you get in an argument with someone. Yeah, you get in an argument with someone or, you know, not necessarily an argument or say a disagreement. Throw your mind off. You throw your mind off and before you know it, your whole day just started. Just going in a whole different direction. So one thing you can do is just want to talk about that mindset, getting your mind right. Sir, get your mind right, man. You know, I know I remember, man, Jay-Z and Memphis Bleak and Snoop Dogg had a song that called Get Your Mind Right, man. I used to love bumping that song, man. It helped me out, man. But no doubt, man, because our mind and I, we'd never be successful, man. <laughs> you know, be getting to the levels that we've been able to attain in our in our real estate careers without the proper mindset. Because yes. real estate is a tough game, man. Yes. Real estate, <laughs> you know, it's great. The money mm -hmm. is, is lovely, especially once you get your, you know, momentum going and, and things of that nature. But, you know, you got to have your mind right. You have know, your mind you right. have your mind right, you know. Absolutely. Um, but, you know, like, we were talking to our mind, like, you know, what what's some, like, what gets you pumped up, man? What, what, what actually gets you pumped up to, man, actually want to get out here and, you know, make it happen, man, like you do? Well, one thing I'm a big fan of, like I was saying, you know, you got the negativity out here. Like, say, a lot of people spend a lot of time watching the news. Like, you know, whatever side your political views, a lot of people get into politics or whatnot, whether you're a Democrat or Republican or whatever, um, a lot of people spend a lot of time doing that. And they throw them into a different type of mode. And before you know it, you are talking about something that's not about getting your money. You know what I mean? Let's talk about getting your money. Whether you're a Democrat or Republican, it's still at the end of the day about you getting your money because they getting their money. So that's what we want to get you focusing on about getting the bag, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so what kind of starts me off, I try to fill my day with a lot of positivity. So I get up in the morning, drink water, you gotta keep yourself hydrated. The goal is to exercise every day. Some days I'd be slipping though, but the goal is to exercise every day. And uh, as well as feed your mind, one thing I do do consistently, feed my mind with a lot of positive audio books. Now you got with the advancement of technology, we got YouTube and whatnot feeding your mind with a lot of positivity. But it goes a little step further than that. You talk about your mind right, getting your mind right, but man, you gotta be hungry. If you wanna be successful in anything, you gotta be hungry for it. You gotta be passionate about it, you know what I mean? And that's what we about. We about being, we're passionate about helping 
as many people as possible. So we want you to subscribe, follow us. If you got some comments, you got some questions about real estate, you can top, type them down in the comment section. We get back with you. But that's what we're passionate about. We're passionate about helping you get to that next level. And if it's in real estate or whatever, uh, we we just all about giving and just helping people. That's what we're about. They pass it over to Brother Leggins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> man, Armand, I feel you, bro. I can't help but yes. feel you, man. You know what I'm saying? Like me. You know, I like to listen to certain songs, you know, that, that motivate me. And it all depends. I mean, some days or some periods, man, I'm listening to classical, to be honest with you. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm bumping out some Mozart Requiems or, you know, something, you know, some Beethoven. But, you know, I got my other days, you know, I got to listen to that Jay-Z, man. Or right I've, been, I've been vibing with my man uh, Buster Rhymes' latest yeah. uh, album, Extinction Love We Event 2, man. I've been, right on. some of them songs been, been pumping me up, man, you know. But you got to find, you know, I'm saying that because you got to find what it is that's going to get you going, that's going to get you pumped up. Yes. You know, and then you have to learn how to um, be mentally strong. You know, yes, and and that you know because getting all the you know you're gonna get a lot of no's. <laughs> you're gonna get a lot of no's out here. You know, you're gonna try a lot of things, and and things may not you know manifest, but uh, as quickly as you want. You know, right. And that's the thing too is that you, real estate taught me patience because mm. I like you know most people I like to have consistent cash flow. You know, you get comfortable with the with the nine to five job uh, or maybe longer hours, you know, right and, and getting that, that paycheck. But, you know, I had to learn like with real estate, you may sign a contract today. All right. And that's technically a sale, but you may not get paid for another, you know, two to four weeks, you know, depending right. on what type of deal it is. So I had to learn how to wait. You know, but that right. kind of taught me some patience. But yes. once you get that rhythm to flowing, then I'm telling you, it's it's gonna be great out here. You know, I was telling our mind, um, you know, real estate helped me achieve so many great things in life. Yes. You know, yeah. helped me achieve so many goals. Like, what what are some of the things that that you know really you know got you going there? You know, got got you pumped up, uh, our mind. Man, for what I want to let the church say, hey, man. Real estate, <laughs> man. Real estate. Hey, it's been a tremendous sure. blessing, man. I would say one of the highlights of uh, my career. Yeah. The highlights of my career. Hey, uh, well, we going to get into it. One of the highlights of my career, man, I was with uh, Diamond Chrysler. <laughs> I was with Diamond, man. And, um, you know, I was a supervisor at Diamond Chrysler at the Toledo plant, getting a little bit more specific, you know. But, um, I used to, it was close to quite a few large uh, real estate transactions. And um, believe it or not, I mean, you know, you close a real estate transaction, that's not an illegal move, man. But I was making so much money while I was a Chrysler, as a Chrysler supervisor, and they used to pull me in the offices, ask me, why am I working here? You know, because I mean, because at the time, you know, real estate transactions was published in the newspaper. And they see, you know, I make, you know, twenty, forty thousand dollars. They like, what you coming in to work for? You know, sometimes I was a little sick after. You know, I'm making forty thousand dollars, man. Whew. I might have to call it sick for a few days. I'm just keeping it real with you. You know what I mean? But to keep it all the way real, not recommending this. We but we talk about the real estate highs, boy. I'm gonna show you what. <laughs> I had a real estate transaction and uh, made like two hundred thousand dollars. Yes. And so with Diamond Chrysler, we did, a, and I don't recommend this to nobody. Don't, don't do this, but I'm just going to keep it real. This is what I did. Don't, don't recommend this. Don't do this because it's not good. Um, I just didn't call them no more, man. I didn't call them. I didn't go back and pick up my safety glasses or nothing. I just, hey, I'm out. Deuces. Oh, you yeah. was like, you, uh, you hit the auto. I feel yeah, you. Yeah, like, yeah. Hey, you know? yeah. Like, hey. hey, man, that's yeah. what I'm talking about, man. That's uh, exactly what I'm talking about. Beautiful thing, man. I have my, my youngest daughter, man. She's like, what you doing today? I said, we just going to sit here on the porch and we'll watch the grass grow. Man, that's heat. <laughs> that's heat, baby. That's all right. You know, we sit on the that's, porch. that's exactly what I'm talking about, man. And that's possible for you out there. Yes. You know, that's very possible, you know. But you have to be 
what they say, you have to be in it to win it, just like the lottery. Yes. You know, you got to be in it to win it. You know, yes. you can't just keep sitting on the sidelines. Every day that goes by that you're sitting there thinking about, I should, you know, get into real estate. I should try and do this wholesaling thing, or I should do this or do that. You're, you're losing valuable time and opportunity that you could be, take some time to learn, first of all, because that's right. going to be, that's, that's part of that, that fear, that part of that hesitation is yes. because you don't have that knowledge yet. You right. know what I'm saying? You're not knowledgeable on it yet. So take some time to learn a little bit at your own pace, you know, because right. we, we grown people. I mean, we can learn and take time at, you know, at, at our own pace, but that, that's how you begin to take those steps. You got to start taking steps. Yes. You know what I'm saying, you know, you got to take it from just being a thought into taking action. That's how things are going to begin to start manifesting for you. And you can't, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm just like everybody else. I want to jump from here and be all the way, you know, up there like that. Right. You know, right. I don't like to wait the time, you know, we in that fast paced society, you know, clicking the move, mm -hmm. push buttons, you know, ask Google, you know, all types of things that we uh, weren't able to do, you know, even, you know, 20 years ago. Right. And, you know, right now we really got to, you know, start taking advantage of, of learning these things now, because I was telling our mind, like real estate has helped me. I, I had always wanted to buy a home in the neighborhood that I grew up in. I grew up in this subdivision called Rosedale Park uh, in Detroit. And mm -hmm. if anybody, you know, is familiar with that, that area, it's, 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 it's a nice, it's a nice part of Detroit. And the homes, you know, that neighborhood has always been nice and it still is today. And I'd always wanted to buy a home over there. But, you know, until I got into real estate, I was able to position myself to be able to uh, find a home over there for a good deal, work it out with my real estate knowledge and be able to buy a home that, I, you know, in, a, in the area that I always dreamed of, you know, owning a home in. I've been right. able to, you know, you know, the fancy cars, you know, plenty of cash, plenty of good times, you know, with the money, right. you know what I'm saying? We can't go into right, right, that type right. of details, you know what I'm saying right. right now, but I'm telling you, you know, and it's all because of real estate. It's yes. all because of real estate, but I have to put that work in in the beginning, though. Trust me. I mean, you know, and we still, still put in work, work in, though. Don't think that we not still, we, we put in work in. Right. But, yeah. you know, it, it, and that, but you got to keep putting work in. You know what right. I'm saying? So, but you got to start. And, yes. you know, if you want to get that money, you know, where you can get, you know, um, I mean, you could make more in a month than you probably made in the past two years, right. to be honest with you. I mean, you know, it, it's it's un, un, unbelievable sometimes what you can do. You know, it's like yes. I, I, I'm, a, I'm on Facebook groups sometimes and, you know, I, I see p people posting about you know, they 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 were working, you know, for you know, a few months and they're ready to give up, but they finally got that first deal and right. it might only been a couple thousand, but they so excited and they know yes. because once you get that first deal, then you're gonna know that this is real. You know right. what I'm saying? And if you wanna learn how to do your first deal, you're gonna have to get with my man Armand. Well, excuse me, Armand, well, whichever <laughs> way he is, but you know, he's over there. Over there, our mind, man, our mind got that uh, fast house, uh, the fast house flipping system. Our mind, yes, sir, man. He did the case study on on where they did seventy seven thousand dollars. If you didn't catch that video, matter of fact, you'll see the link to that at the end of this, man. It's seventy seven thousand dollars in one week. Uh, what was it before Christmas or last? This past Christmas, right, right. right. Well, we yes, all, yes, sir. everybody crying and you know uh, I mean and not to make light of things but you know um mm -hmm. but, you know everybody is struggling and in there yes. you know uh real struggles yeah we, we recognize right? that real struggles yeah real struggles right. real life yeah. struggles and I I, yeah. I I don't mean to minimize it at all but I'm just right. saying that with his real estate knowledge and what what he's he's can teach you right now and you know, it, say you didn't make seventy seven thousand and you only made seventy seven hundred. Right. What would that do for you right now? 
Right. <laughs> what would that do for you right now? You know what I'm right. saying? So, I mean, you know, that he's showing the case study to show you the potential. You know, yes. it ain't no guarantee that that's what you're going to make, but you got to shoot for the stars and land on the moon, you know. There you you're go. still there, you know. You still, right, right. still a lot of space, you know. Uh, so, it, Going back to that case study, though, you know, going through there, because obviously that was several deals closing, you know, in that week, but it all starts with the mindset, right? So say, for example, if I had the mindset that, like, you know, say if I had the mindset where, you know, I got 4,000 clothes and I'm like, oh, I'm good. You know what I mean? The rest of the money wouldn't have came. So you got to have that mind. You had to have the right mindset. And just like how we talking right now, kind of smooth and cool. Some people might believe that your real estate transaction is going to kind of go like, like this. You know, we just kind of cool and smooth. Sometimes, man, um, I mean, as Anthony can contest, sometimes, you know, even as a real estate investor or as a real estate broker, sometimes those conversations get kind of heated because we talk about this money, right? You know, we talk about getting this bread. And then <laughs> sometimes in certain situations, you will have people is keeping it real will try to teach you out of your money. Even though you're in a profession, you might think that you know we're in this profession and that everybody's going to treat us really, really good and things like that. Nah, man, you you know you got to have your mind. You got to have your mind right. Not saying that you want to get into any type of uh, engage with people in any type of you know fist fights and nothing like that. But I'm just saying you you got to have your you had to have your mind in check for that too because. You know, normally, if somebody goes sideways with me on my money and we're out in the streets, then we're going to handle it a little bit different. So it's just so important to have your mind right. You know, you got to have your mind right to get your money right. And the one thing is, you got, you know, what I say, if you, well, not just what I say, what the, the story, what other people say, if the mind, if you can, if the mind, if you can conceive it, and if you can believe it, you can achieve it. Yeah. So first, you got to see yourself as a successful investor or as a successful uh, business owner, you gotta see it. You gotta be a salesman, but you gotta sell yourself first. You know, you gotta believe it. And once you see it and you believe it, now we just gonna reverse engineer that thing and just walk right into it. But every day, you know, pumping yourself up with those that positivity, listen to the, you know, the positive audio books or your read books or whatnot, um, and it's just walking into it. Cause we got a lot of negative stuff out here, you know, in the world. We got this COVID stuff going on here, the uncertainty with jobs and whatnot. So what we want to do is just try to surround yourself with a lot of positive people, like you know, brother Anthony here, and you know he's positive. You know what I mean? So I want to surround myself with a lot of positive people who have that same type of energy. Now, some people, as you're walking in your light, some people you're gonna have to cut out. You know what I mean? Either cut out, or if it's like a significant other and whatnot, you might have to limit the time being around them. I say I'm not trying to drive nobody to divorce court and nothing like that. But I'm just saying that uh, you gonna have to carve out your success, and it's your, it's you know, we, we can give you the roadmap, but ultimately it's gonna be up to you. And people might say, well, I don't have this and I don't have that. I don't have money, or I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm really, really in a really bad spot right now. One thing. If you're in a real bad spot or wherever you're at, two things, right? Two things. For one, have a plan. Now, wherever you're at, right. you can come up with a plan. Yeah. Number two, is execute that plan. So you got you you can come up with the plan. Number two, execute the plan. So you might say, well, I got the plan. I execute the plan. I didn't hit it. Okay, why didn't you hit it? Let's go through some problem-solving techniques, and let's get right back at it. And what's going to keep you going every day is that hunger. I want, I want it. You know, how bad do you want it? You know what I mean? I want it. I want to help you. We want to help you. That's why we're here. But how bad do you want it? You got to believe in yourself. And if you want it, we're here to help. That's why we're here. It is, man. Oh, man. I love it, bro. I love it, man. You drop, man. What you say? You dropping them nuggets, baby. Nuggets. I love it. I love it, yes, man. Sir. You bringing that heat, man. Yes. Y'all got y'all, man. You got to understand, man. Real Estate Heat TV, man. Listen, what our mind said, I really hope you guys rewind, man, or internalize that, man, because that's so yes. key, man. So, so key. You know, um, you know, it's one thing that I remember when I was I was thinking about when when our mom was talking there. Um, 
is that my, I remember when I first got into real estate, uh, my grandfather suggested that I, I get my real estate license because we were having a conversation. I was at a point in my life where I was getting frustrated because I think I was getting ready to turn about, I was getting ready to turn 30. And, okay. you know, sometimes, you know, when you're growing up, at least my thought is that I wanted to be at a certain level in life by the time I turned 30. And I was becoming real frustrated about how come I couldn't, you know, basically how come I wasn't rich, you know, <laughs> that, mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie. That was what my thought was like, man, I should be rich by now. You know, I, I thought I always told myself I'd be rich by 30 and then I, it didn't, it didn't happen that way. And yeah. I was, I was, you know, upset. So I, I, I asked my grandfather because my grandfather, he, uh, rest in peace. Uh, he was a very successful, uh, real estate developer and, you know, he was, uh, He's a wealthy man. And I asked him, like, you know, hey, Grandpa, what can I do to get rich like you? Right. I just flat out asked him, you know, because I, I, was, I was at that point, you know. And he said, uh, well, you 90% of the way there. And I'm sitting there like, man, what the heck is he talking about? And I was like, well, you know, Grandpa, what's the other 10%? And mm -hmm. he said, get your real estate license. Wow. He said, get your real estate license. So it didn't took me years to understand what he meant. What he meant is that 90% of it is that desire, man. Yes. It's that wanting to get there. You already, you closer than having that yes. desire is you, you so close. We don't, sometimes we don't see how close we are to where we really trying to get. Mm -hmm. You know, we give up right before we right there to grab it. You know what I mean? Right. So, you know, have, keep that desire. But then that other 10%, right, was to get educated, basically. Get my license yeah. so I can get educated right. on real estate because I didn't know nothing about real estate mm -hmm. at that time. Nothing. And uh, I was clueless, uh, you know. And, you know, that's that's where it's at. And, like, you know, we, we I'm sure we said before, man, we've made... <laughs> We made a whole lot of money over the course of our, you know, I think yes. Armand and I have been in, this, in, in, in the business for about the same amount of time. So right. over our span of, you know, close to 17 years, um, you know, we definitely, we definitely did millions, you know, as, as, as you should, you know, you know what I'm right. saying? As you as should be expected with somebody that's out here full time, every, you know, all the time, ups and downs. Yes. Um, still out here grinding and making it happen and that's that's type of passion and determination that you have to have you know just don't right. give up just don't give up no you can do it yes no you can believe do in it yourself. Yeah. believe in yourself man i believe in you i know right. you can do it right I, i'm i'm 110 percent positive that you can do it as long as you convince yourself first yes and then come see me or my brother Armand over here. I keep I keep going the wrong way. My brother Armand <laughs> over here. You know what I mean? And right. get that education, get that training that you need. We we gonna help you. You see, we passionate. Yeah. You see that we care. You know, we we really we not just saying these things to be braggadocious. We saying these things to motivate you and get you yes. hyped. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because this is real. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Real estate, heat TV. <laughs> I, had to, well, I had to shoot that plug in. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tell heat them, TV. Oh, yeah, man. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who's guys, we are TV. live TV. on our website officially. Yes. www.realestateheat.tv. Yes. Realestateheat.tv is going to be below. Go check us out. We're going to catch the latest shows. Uh, before we even get, uh, before they even get get onto the YouTube, you'll be able to catch them on our uh, website. So go ahead, set it up. Go ahead. I mean, go ahead and uh, check us out. Subscribe now yes. to make sure that you are able to catch our mind and I and all of our other talented people and guests that we'll be bringing on uh, to our shows and our new right. programs and series. We got so much heat plan for you guys just stay tuned subscribe yes. i guarantee you that you will definitely love what we have for you in the future
Well, go ahead, absolutely. Armand. Go on and wrap us up, man. Get us up out of here, Armand. Drop, drop that last minute word for us, brother. Hey, one one thing, like I said, we here to, to try to help as many people as possible. So one thing that we need you guys to do, one, right now, if you haven't subscribed, we need you to subscribe, like right now. Two, we need it for you to share this out with your friends. We want you to post this up on your Facebook page, post it up on your LinkedIn page, share it out to your people and encourage other people to share it out because this show right here is all about helping people, helping people make what? More money. We dropping that Real Estate Heat TV straight to you. This is, you know, it's coming straight to you. So if you feel as though you've been blessed with this information, Bless some other people. You know, that's what it's all about. It's a giver's gain in the world. You know what I mean? The more people you help, the more it's going to come to you. So that's what we out here doing. We out here trying to help people. And, and eventually, what it's going to do, come around and help us. You know what I mean? So just pass it pass it on. Like they say, pay it forward. Share it, share it out on your page. Share it to your friends. Tell, it, tell, it, tell, it, tell everybody. You know, tell a friend. <laughs> tell, a, <laughs> tell a friend. Tell a brother. Sell a pasta, sell a pill. Yeah. Say, no, no, the Blue State Heat TV is right here. Oh, yeah, Blue right. State Heat TV, the Armand and Anthony show. Yes, sir. And we out. <laughs>